Okay. You need to know how to work out the other measures for a um, PDF. The um, mean we already talked about last time, that's this. Just take the rule and do some integration on it. You know, whatever the kick in and kick out uh, points for that rule is what become the terminals of the integral. Remember the, for the um, variance, it's um, do that business with an x squared um, instead of the x and then subtract the square of the mean. But what about some other measures? Okay, so the measures they want you to work out um, are mode. Okay, so very simple for that. Use your core one and core two skills. So how to work out the mode, find the value of x under the highest point of the PDF. Okay, so for example, um, if your PDF was this, between 0 and 1. Then just find out when that's at its highest. A great tool for that is differentiation. Got to get it ready first. If I got it ready it would be 24x minus um, 24 um, x squared I think. Uh, when is that equal to 0? when x equals um, so that equals 0 when x equals 0 or 1 or um, yeah 0 or 1 just factorize that in my head okay um, no that surprises me I must have made a mistake I shouldn't be so rushed I'm going to get this properly ready for calculus. 12x squared minus 12x cubed. So the derivative is 24x minus 36x squared. When is that equal to 0? I'm going to divide both sides by 12 and take a common factor of x out. So it's equal to 0 when x equals 0 or where x equals 2 thirds, okay. Um, the, um, that's the one that falls in between where the algebra applies. Remember this whole question was that algebra was only between 0 and 1. So that's the point we want, that's where it will be highest. And that is our mode. Okay, we're not interested in how high it actually is. We're never interested in how high a PDF actually is. What we're interested in is where it is the highest because that will be the mode. Okay. Now, um, how do we work out the median? Well, to work out the mode, we use the PDF. For the median, we solve the CDF equal to half. Now, because you're going to have lots of cubics and quadratics around, you're going to get multiple answers. For goodness sake, pick the value that um, is um, in the range. So in other words, where the algebra applied. Okay. Um, so, give an example. Here's a... PDF this algebra only applies between 0 and 1 okay so to find the median we've got to solve the CDF the CDF just comes from integration I'll see if I can do this quickly integrate that you get 
2x squared minus x to the power of 4. Um, that only applies to in 0 and 1. If x is less than 0, the value is 0. If x is greater than 1, the value is 1. Now, um, okay, so we have to solve this equal to half. Just times everything by 2. Um, tidy everything up. Realize that that's actually a quadratic. So therefore, x squared equals, I'm just going to use the quadratic formula here. You'll see in the book that they use an m here. They like to use m as a concrete value, maybe to remind themselves that it's the median. x squared equals 1 plus root 2 over 2. So therefore, x, our median, is equal to either the positive square root of that, or the negative square root of that. Leads this crazy situation where we got four different answers. One here, one here, and within each of those, a plus version and a minus version. Basically, you just need to work out what each of these are until you get one of them that is genuinely between zero and one. Um, and that'll be your median. Okay, now, um, uh, Apparently the, um, well that one's definitely ruled out because that, that's negative. Um, apparently the one that's better comes from the minusing. Um, let's just check that makes sense. Um, that's about 1.4, so that's about 0 0.7. 1 minus 0 0.7 is about 0 0.3, square root that, so that's good. So the median equals that. And that's your answer. Now, if you want to solve for quartiles, don't use a half. If you want the upper quartile, solve for F, capital FX equals three quarters. If you want the lower quartile, solve for capital FX equals, equals one quarter.